Hello everybody and welcome to kind of a showcase slash review. Uh, today it is going to be over the brand new Rap Attack by Rock God, aka Blaze. And uh, also before we get this video started, I want to give a big thanks to Zonar or Will or Izonar, however you guys see him. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel. He's also on my feature channel. Uh, he did the uh, banner for my channel and uh, it's pretty amazing. I think all of you guys are enjoying it right now. And uh, so yeah, go give uh, him a big subscribe. Go check out his videos. He does some tutorials. Um, he does really, really awesome Rigs of Rods videos. And uh, overall, he's just a really, really good YouTuber. He's only at like 550 subscribers, so uh, we can get him up there, uh, maybe 600, 700 subs. I'll be pretty happy. Um, but back to the video, uh, we have Rap Attack. Uh, like I said, done by Rock God. And real quickly, we're just going to kind of uh, park it right there and take a look at some stuff. So, first things first, these are the things that are that I see that are wrong with it. Um, the drive shafts don't match up, like at all, here or here, it looks like. Um, also, I'm not sure if this was intentional or not. But there are batteries here and here. Um, once again, not sure if that was intentional or not, so I'm not going to like really mark that down. Um, yeah, other than that, I think he got just about everything. Oh yeah, and I think he runs a little bit different axles, but there's not much you can do with that. Um, but yeah, the engine looks really good. It's the new like version 5 engines and all that. It has... Uh, blue covers, um, elf covers, has a fire extinguisher inside. The in-cab looks really, really nice. Um, we have this little black bar here. That is very cool. It's pretty accurate to the truck. And we have a gas and brake pedal. Don't see that too often in uh, trucks nowadays, but it is very, very nice to see. Um, also, the shifter looks like it is a two-speed. Some people put like a three-speed in there, but I like it the two-speed. One thing that um, I'm going to start doing on my trucks, and I would love if other people uh, did this as well, is like had the shifter not in park. If it was like in first or something like that, that would be very, very cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, this interior looks very nice, uh, pretty nice and detailed. All the Lexan is clear, um, everything like that. So, yeah, this truck is very beautiful. Uh, there's an, there's also an open diff version of this. Now, while driving it, there is one complaint I have. This is the normal version, and that's if you go to do a wheelie and like hit the brakes, um, like, like that, but like faster, like you guys seen in the beginning of the video, the truck does that and it's kind of dumb most trucks don't do that so uh, I'm not sure if it's something to do with his custom node beam or not um, but yeah also if you guys see a quality right there there it is again um, if you guys see a quality difference I had to start using XSplit let me know if you guys think it's uh, better quality worse or looks the same um, my game is still the same setting so any difference will just be uh, XSplit versus Fraps, which Fraps is just being retarded, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't even record with it, so I had to use XSplit, which luckily I already had, and yeah. Um, also, another point I want to point out on this truck is the ride height is like exact from this truck to uh, the real life. And for this video's purpose, I'm not going to be reviewing the open diff version of this truck. I might do that in its own separate video, um, because over the next week and a half, two weeks, uh, maybe a little bit longer, I'm going to try and get videos out just about daily, because um, my mom will be home and I'll be able to record at 1 o'clock in the morning if I really feel like it. So. Expect a lot of videos. Um, this is basically going to be like the marathon to 800 subs. <laughs> uh, you can think of that 
it that way. Um, but yeah, Rock God and I believe uh, Chris B uh, made this truck. Chris did the paint um, and Blades did everything else. And the paint that Chris did is it's so accurate. Um, and it's not like Obviously, it's not taken from the V4 or anything. I'm pretty sure this was hand-painted. Uh, so, that's really awesome. Uh, like, this paint looks so good. I'm happy that Chris did it. Because Chris is a really good, like, track maker and truck maker and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, I hope that we get some more trucks out here pretty soon. Because I want to start doing some more of these reviews. Um over other people's stuff. I'll probably like showcase some of my own stuff here pretty soon. I have some stuff that's almost done which will be coming out this week. Um, but yeah. So uh, overall the truck is very very nice. Um, one thing that I do in my trucks I wish more people would do is like in the material file make more stuff like shiny and chrome and stuff like that. That's kind of like the only negative, but just about nobody does that besides me. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and those few things I said at the beginning of the video. So, overall, this truck, very, very nice. Um, I really like it. The body looks good. It's positioned well. Uh, the only things that are kind of lacking on this are uh, the drive shaft positioning, and the node beam is kind of weird when you, like, go to do that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, other than that, this truck is very, very nice. Uh, it's a really fun truck. Just came out. It's close to like 200 downloads, so if you guys haven't downloaded already, I would strongly recommend getting it. Although, if you're a sane person, you probably already have it. Um, also, uh, before we wrap up this uh, video and give this truck a score, um, fun tour will be coming to an end soon. Vegas is going to be happening this coming Monday. Uh, so hopefully all the drivers are ready for that. Also, uh, people that aren't in fun tour, don't ask to be in it until I release a video for signups for season three. Um, we have a few things, uh, that are going to happen before that. We have fun tour versus fun series which should be happening relatively soon. That should be about a three week span. And then after that SMRA, and then after that season three will probably be starting up for Fun Tour. There's some amazing things. I already have basically a track list picked out. Uh, so I think everybody's really gonna enjoy it. There's a lot of variety in there. Um, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, overall this truck, um, I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. Um, I would have given it like an 8 or a 9 if it wasn't for that node. Actually, I would have given it a 9 if it wasn't for that node beam. But, like, yeah. The node beam is, uh, I don't know, like the truck handles good and all. Um, but that. I hate that. It catches, like, really bad on everything, like, on cars. Uh, so, yeah, that's, like, the main reason it's not getting a 9. Um, overall, though, not too bad. If Blaze could fix that issue of, you know, dying whenever you hit a car and you're trying to do a wheelie, uh, this truck would be an easy 9. I'm not sure if he's going to do that. Probably not. Um, also... I know he has quite a few other trucks in store for us, so I'm hoping that he gets those out relatively quickly. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty awesome trucks, so that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, overall, a 7 out of 10, not too bad. It would have been a 9 out of 10 if uh, it wasn't for it, that garbage node beam. Or whatever it is. Whatever that is right there. See? <laughs> so garbage. Oh, it's... Jesus Christ. Yep. It's pretty bad. Um, so yeah. 
after this like week and a half, I'm assuming we're going to be over 800 subs. There might be some vlogs because I'll be going to Michigan for a fishing tournament uh, in the beginning of June. So uh, if you guys like fishing, uh, let me know if you want to see any footage from that. And uh, all in all, that's about it for the video. Uh, once again, go check out uh, the Zone R YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he would really appreciate the subs. Also, if you guys want, I believe that he said that he can make anyone a banner. Uh, it's not going to be free, uh, just a heads up, but there's that as well. So, um, yeah, until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.